Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that I get asked about quite a lot on Instagram through DMs. It's about bloating. We all get bloated. I feel like some more than others and when you do get bloated there's nothing worse than feeling like you look like seven months pregnant especially if you're at a social occasion and especially around this time of year when it's Christmas when all you want to do is eat all the good stuff. So in this video, I'm going to touch on eight things you can take if you're bloated uh, that will help relieve that. So each one of these has been tried and tested by yours truly. <laughs> I have been through the ringer in terms of my gut health and I've tried all the things so that I can then pass them on to you guys. First up is celery juice. Now I know celery juice is having its time in the sun and for good reason because celery juice can increase the HCL in your stomach which is stands for hydrochloric acid. Uh, hydrochloric acid is what is responsible for breaking down the food that you digest and then passing it through the body. So a lot of us um, as we age our HCL and stomach acid can reduce and that's why you start to get kind of more digestive issues as we get older. Consuming 16 ounces, yes 16, that's a lot I know, but 16 ounces first thing in the morning on an empty stomach um, is going to help you go to the bathroom. I've done it and it works. Yeah. And then also, you know, doing it over a long period of time can just help with keeping things running smoothly. So if you feel like you're backed up, and bloated this time of year especially start incorporating some organic celery juice into your morning and you will feel so much better and not to mention all the other benefits that come with celery juice that I haven't mentioned it will help your skin so much my eyes always look so much clearer my under eyes look so much clearer whenever I do celery juice I actually just finished a 12 days of celery juice challenge where my energy levels were so high and yeah, my skin was just like, I hate to say it, but glowing. The next one is something that I think you should take if you know you're going to be bloated. <laughs> you know those times when you're going out for dinner, it's with a big group of people, you know you're going to be eating out and eating something that you're not used to eating. Taking digestive enzymes with you and taking them with a meal can help with eliminating the... Um, possibility of bloating or gas. So digestive enzymes, they come in a tap, like a capsule, they're different from probiotics, they're a completely different thing, both really good though. But digestive enzymes are essentially what your, what your stomach has, but some people also lack these. So taking digestive enzymes with a meal is going to help break down the food that you're eating and avoid the bloating. It takes off all the wrong work from your stomach, so if you have a lazy digestive system, one or two pills with a heavy meal is going to help you so much. I'm going to include also a, like a link to a lot of this stuff in the bottom. Um, these are products that I've tried and, and love myself. So the third one is activated charcoal. I take two of these whenever I feel like I'm getting gassy or bloated and I swear to god they it eliminates the gas and bloat almost immediately. In addition if you're feeling hungover um, this also helps with that. I've definitely had a few food hangovers this season and I've taken two capsules of this coconut charcoal and within an hour I felt completely better. The way charcoal works is it binds to all the toxins in your colon and can absorb all of those and uh, eliminate them from your body. So the next one's going to be um, apple cider vinegar. So apple cider vinegar, if you guys don't have it in your fridge, I suggest you should at all times because this thing is a miracle worker. Not only is it really good for um, digesting your food, but it's also really great to add as a salad dressing with a little bit of olive oil and even lemon. Um, adds a nice tang and it's really good for the gut. Um, apple cider vinegar is very acidic and it can help increase the stomach acid in your gut. And then increased stomach acid means better digestion. Um, and it can also help with breaking down a lot of the protein if you're eating a lot of like protein rich um, meals. Completely on a side note, apple cider vinegar makes a really great toner. So that's a little bit of a secret there. 
Uh, in terms of brands, um, Bragg's is my only go-to when it comes to apple cider vinegar. I don't know what it is about theirs. I think they have like the mother in there, but theirs is a really good quality one. So you can get it from most grocery stores. So the next one is going to be fennel seeds. Um, there are two ways to do this. So the first one is taking half a teaspoon of fennel seeds, chewing them, and then swallowing them after a meal or doing um, a fennel seed tea. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can buy fennel tea, but if you can't, then just get the fennel seeds, steep them in some hot water, drink the tea. Uh, fennel has active components in there that are anti-flatulin, anti-spasmatic. Uh, so they're gonna be really soothing for the intestines and really help with stomach pains, gas, and you named it, bloating. Next up, we have bentonite clay, um, but a very specific, type. It's called Sons Clay, which is I think the brand or the style. Um, I will also link that below. <laughs> Sons Clay, the way that it works is they process it in a way that removes all of the um, impurities and dirt from the clay, but then also keeping it um, at a negative charge. Uh, the way that clay, bentonite clay works is it has a negative charge and then it attracts the positive charge uh, toxins that are inside of your system. Um, so a lot of environmental toxins and just waste products that are sitting in your colon and causing you to bloat will be attracted to this bentonite clay. It loosens up the stool and then it allows it to remove from the body. So with the Sons clay, it comes in a large amber bottle and it is a liquid. So it's got the clay in there. You just put like a tablespoon in a glass of water. You drink that and then you will probably immediately feel the effects. I definitely do, but it's very effective. The next one is a tried and true fave. It is magnesium. We've all heard of it. You should all have it in your cupboards. I take it in a few different forms. Um, I've got one in a powder form that I mix with some water. And I also have one in a liquid form, which is called Remag. Also, I'll link that below because the Remag is a lot more bioavailable. Um, it tastes like absolute shit. I have to like hold my nose when I drink it, but it always does the trick. Um, the way magnesium works is it helps relax and soothe the intestinal walls, um, which can then help with constipation, which is why a lot of us get bloated because we're constipated or backed up. Magnesium. A lot of us are deficient in it. Magnesium is responsible for over 300 systems and processes and functions in our entire body. So if you don't do it for bloating, do it for everything else. So last but not least, we have Trafala, which is an Ayurvedic uh, medicine. Trafala itself is comprised of three medicinal plants that are native to India, um, but it has historically been used to treat stomach ailments and more specifically constipation, which is you know where a lot of our bloating can come from. So I have a bottle in the in the medicine cabinet. Um, I take one or two at night before bed, around an hour before bed, and it can help alleviate bloating um, overnight. Well guys, that is it. My eight top tips of what you can take and do if you're bloated. If you guys have any questions, be sure to reach out to me uh, via DM on Instagram. That's the best way to contact me. I'm at peanuthead. And uh, be sure to keep an eye out. I'm actually launching a gut health book. It is going to be the ultimate guide to gut health. It has everything you need to know about gut health and why you're bloated. And if you have any digestive issues, kind of like the roadmap to getting better. So that's going to launch in January, um, which is in a few weeks. So stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram to get updates on that. And I don't know if this goes without saying, but if you can like and subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. It helps me create more videos like this for you guys because I'm here to serve you and help you with all your digestive distress. <laughs> Bye.